the Marvel Universe expands with new movie tie-in toys, the Thundercats get a makeover, and Johnny Depp returns to the three and three quarter inch figure world. This is Articulation Times. Welcome to Articulation Times, your source for action figure news. Today is Monday, February 7th, 2011, and here are your top stories. Hasbro's revealed new images of Wave 13 of its Marvel Universe line of figures. Look for Apocalypse, a Jim Lee version of Cyclops, Cable, First Appearance Wolverine, and Gladiator in March. Then there's the upcoming movie tie-in toys for Thor and Captain America. The three and three quarter inch Thor series will include Battle Hammer Thor, Sword Spike Thor, Lightning Clash Thor, Secret Strike Loki, Shield Bash Odin, and another figure to be determined. Look for the Deluxe Blaster Armor Thor as well. These figures should release in March. Two waves of Captain America movie toys are also on the way. Wave 1 will feature Ultimate's Captain America, Classic Captain America, World War II Captain America, and Winter Soldier. Deluxe figures like Captain America with a parachute and Captain America with a jetpack will cost 15 bucks a piece. Wave 2 includes Bucky Captain America, Captain Britain, Captain America Final Mission, US Agent, and Crossbones. Also look for the 3 and 3 quarter inch scale off-road Avenger vehicle set with a classic styled Captain America figure. All of these will arrive in May. Jack Pacific and Disney have revealed the new line of toys inspired by the fourth Pirates of the Caribbean movie. The 4-inch line features Jack Sparrow, Barbosa, Angelica, and Gibbs. With a black light, the figures will turn into ghoulish zombies. Those will run you $7.99 each. There will also be a 4-inch wave of legend-packed action figures that will feature play accessories for around $15 a piece. The 6-inch wave of figures will feature Jack Sparrow, Blackbeard, Barbosa, Angelica, and Gibbs. These will come with more detail but less articulation. Then there will be the giant 4-inch scale playset of the Queen Anne for around $60. This series will begin to release in March. Warner Brothers is rebooting Thundercats with a new animated television series for Cartoon Network later this year. Here's a look at the action figures based on the show. There will be a basic 4-inch line of figures that come with a weapon and magnet technology that allow the figures to interact with other Thundercats products. Those should cost $8 each. The 4-inch scale Thunder Tank will come with Snarf, includes launchable thunder bikes and sound effects. That'll cost you around 30 bucks. The 8-inch deluxe figure line will feature more detail and articulation than the 4-inch counterparts for around $17 each. And then there's the 8-inch classic line of Thundercats figures. Lino here will come with 18 points of articulation, a long sword of omens, a short sword of omens, and the Thunderclaw glove. We should receive more information about this line of toys at the 2011 New York Toy Fair next week. And finally, this week's Toy Tuber to Watch goes to Jazz Santee. He reviews all sorts of action figures, including Marvel Legends, Transformers, and more. Check out his channel when you get a chance. That's it this week for Articulation Times, your source for action figure news. Be sure to check out the website, articulationtimes.com, for news and reviews of new action figure products. And you can also follow us on Twitter and Facebook. For Articulation Times, I'm John Airy. Keep collecting.